Well, we'll start off tonight over in Boise. The one seed Montana Grizz were looking to repeat as Big Sky Tournament champions and head to the NCAA Tournament. The opponent, the three seed Eastern Washington Eagles, and it would turn out to be a tough test. Rematch of last year's Big Sky Championship. Travis DeCure and the Grizzlies hoping to beat Eastern Washington for back-to-back -back titles. Unlike in their first two games in Boise, Grizz come out flat. Eastern takes advantage off the miss. Kim Aiken falls with the slam and the Eagles are up. Then kick to Cody Benzel in the corner for three. Eastern would jump out to an early 24-12 lead. But the Grizz would cut into it a bit before halftime. Saeed Pridget running the court, and he gets the lay-in to go. Grizz only down 31-26 to at halftime now, starting the second half. Tyler Kidd for three, and that will put the Eagles up eight again. But here come the Grizz again. Ahmad Rory steps into a three-pointer and hits, and the Grizz are now back within one. Then Pridget follows with a beautiful spin move. He had a few of these in the game a little later for two points. He scored a game-high 18 on the night. Then with 11 minutes left, Rory's shot is blocked here in the lane, but he gets it back and hits the second attempt, and that puts Montana up for the first time in the game. And Donovan Dorsey, he was huge off the bench. He cans a three right in the defender's face. Then a little bit later, it's another three for Dorsey, and that puts the Grizz up four. He hit all four three-pointers he attempted for 12 key points. But now let's jump forward. It's three minutes to go, and the Grizz almost turn it over, but it ends up in Bobby Moorhead's hands, and he hits the huge three to push the lead to seven. Eastern never got back in striking distance, and the Grizzlies celebrate their second straight Big Sky Championship and punch their ticket to the NCAA Tournament, beating the Eagles 68-62. And we'll toss it over now to our sports director, Derek Berkeley, who is live in Boise. Derek? Yeah, Jack, that's right. What a great performance for the Montana Grizzlies. Defensively all game. That early struggles offensively dug a hole, and it took a while to get out of it. But they were great defensively all game, and they came up clutch when they needed to, as you would expect a senior team with a ton of experience to do. And now they're champions once again. It actually brought tears to my eyes because I know just all the work that myself and my teammates have put in, you know, just kind of when you sit back and soak it all in, I think it just, it's real special. All the grinding, all the hard summers and springs and falls and everything that comes with, you know, the grind, you know, this is what it's all for. And it's, you know, this is the best feeling in the world to be able to go to the NCAA tournament. As head coach of the University of Montana Grizzlies, I'm just proud. Uh, to be surrounded by such special gentlemen that I have on my team and the incredible staff that I have and how, how much they've all committed to what my dream has been for this group. So the Grizzlies will go back to the big dance for the second straight year tomorrow at 4 o'clock. They'll find out in the selection show what seed they get, where they're going, who they're going to play. A lot of excitement for Grizz fans about this coming week. But for now, it's time to celebrate in Boise as Montana is Big Sky champions for a second straight year. Live in Boise, Derek Berkeley, MTN Sports.